right is wrong, right is right, is wrong is wrong, my nigga. So a nigga beat me up cause, and, and snake me because I let him know that he was wrong. That's what that was straight up about. Three to one is the reason why I'm talking to you today, big brother. If it wasn't for three, I would I'd probably be there. I, I, I'd, be, I'd be a G money right now. I'd be one of them niggas who he grew up with, who you were beating with, who he snake. Honestly. Which, that's the three is the nigga, the reason why I'm right, right is wrong, right is right, is wrong is wrong, my nigga. So a nigga beat me up cause, and, and snake me because I let him know that he was wrong. That's what that was straight up. All right, now, Birdman, nephew, go by the name of Benzo 147 or 187. Things 187, but um, this potential artist slash I don't even know what he call himself. Like, do he do he feel like he an artist or he just none of that? Is he just a homie? Like, a lot of people are dressing him as Birdman nephew. Feel me? I hate when it happens, and it sucks though. Feel me? But it also is a beauty in the life for that. Feel me? Because if you do get to a certain point, people gonna start saying. Benzo, feel me? They ain't gonna say Birdman nephew, feel me? But I'm gonna call him by his name. Benzo 187 basically is the guy that been going crazy on NBA young boy head, basically saying that he a rat, feel me? Um, all it seemed like was uh, a big assumptions, like a lot of assumptions. If I'm gonna give y'all a little backstory. I made a, I made a video on this already, but I'm gonna just give y'all like a quick minute backstory. Basically, him and this other dude, this other artist, well known in Louisiana, um, Kai, Kai something, I forgot his name. They basically like kind of went on Instagram, and basically was saying like, how this person, how NBA young boy is still out here speaking on bodies and this this dad and I, I and he's still out free. So they automatically assuming that he's a rat. A lot of people don't understand, but for one, you have money. When you have money, you have some sort of power. When you have power, you you have the power to potentially change people's minds and also swing their chances of even giving a fluff. You feel me? So it's like this. Two, two potential things The one thing that I think That potentially happened Is The people that would Potentially care Or could potentially Do anything Physically to hurt A person uh, And throw them in jail You throw money at them Hey look This is off the books 60000 Every month Or whatever the case That would easily Go crazy for them like that You know but nonetheless, Benzo 187 basically responded after being off a of bed rest. You feel what I'm saying? So what happened was they spoke on some stuff on Instagram about NBA Youngboy being a rat. I want to say probably like less than a week later, Benzo ended up in a hospital on bed rest. You feel me? His mama basically freaking out. You feel me? Her son is in the hospital all banged up. You feel me? And I want to say this clip that was before when I started talking was the first clip he recorded when he got out and he basically said if it wasn't for OG 3-3 he wouldn't be alive right now and it's just interesting for me he basically kind of ratting on himself kind of if you think about it because like, he was telling everything basically even by telling people that NBA young boy is a rat that's technically you technically a rat for saying it because you snitched to the whole world that he's a rat So, dude telling the whole world about a certain situation. And dude basically end up getting hurt. Now, I know it's a lot of assumptions on like, you should never said nothing, or this, this, and that, you know? The fella realize is even if this person is who you 
say is if you was doing some stuff you knew like let's say you was doing some stuff that he potentially was talking about what makes you think he can't go find somebody else that could do it way better than you and not have to worry about that person going on Instagram Think I should take the camera? Hmm? Think I should take the camera? Mm hmm. <clears throat> you still getting videos. Huh? So you're still getting videos. You leaving right now, right now? Not right now. I'm gonna take them out. <clears throat> yeah, they're not gonna be done by then. But I really don't need them because I still haven't edited the other videos. So that's gonna be. But uh, the reason why I added this clip before my videos is because I feel like people expect me to put the whole entire video inside of my video, which they could just go watch the actual video if they wanted to have or see the whole video. Tell them why, though. Well, it's because of copyrighted reasons. You know what I'm saying? It's a copyrighted issue. You know, if you take, if you, if, if I get, if I want to make my own barbecue sauce, and I literally just steal the, their ingredients right off the back of the the bottle or whatever the case, I could easily get sued. But if I use salt or some sort of other ingredient ex to add to it or maybe take away, then I easily could sell my own barbecue sauce. What? I mean, I just need this video to be two minutes. That's why it's dragging out this long. But, yeah. Hold on. Somebody had to return my camera. Hold on. 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 Hold on.